back to my channel or if you're new here you're very welcome thank you so much for being here in today's session we will focus on the upper body and especially we will explore the shoulder area so in climbing we do a lot of pulling action and over here we will do the opposite we will do more pushing action i like to call this session shoulder love because hopefully these exercises and these movements will feel really good for your shoulders and it will be a good recovery after climbing or during your active rest days. For this session, you will need a yoga mat or something soft down beneath you, a block, a brick or a book, or if you don't have those, not a problem, you can also use a weight. So using the weight, a light weight, it will be more intense. So once you grab those, come back to your yoga mat and let's get started in a seated position. Elongate your spine up towards the sky. So check how is your posture so you can open up your chest. So sitting tall and confident, shoulders are relaxed. So we keep a lot of tension in the shoulder area. So we just take a few moments, we bring the awareness to this area and we allow that to relax. Sometimes what helps is to take the fingers and massage that area that we want to relax. So massaging one side, massaging the other, and allowing your shoulders to soften and relax. We can also make some circles. So we lift the shoulders up forward and then back and down. So as if you're making these circles with the shoulders, a few circles back. And then at the same time, start to bring your attention to your breath. So throughout the whole practice, we really try to be mindful of the breath. I will be reminding you, but also you can try to remind yourself as well to check if you're breathing throughout the movements. So last circle. And then extend the arms to the sides, flex your hands as if you're pushing the two imaginary walls and let's start to make little circles forward. So these will be very controlled rotations, very small circles, while at the same time we are flexing the hands. So pushing these imaginary walls. We continue to sit tall, so check your posture. How is your posture? We, of course, can sit like that, but let's sit tall and confident. Open the chest this way. There will be more space for your lungs to breathe in oxygen. Check your breath. Inhale through the nose, gentle, calm inhalations to let our nervous system know that we are safe in this moment. Gentle, soft exhalations. One more breath, inhale, exhale, lower the hands down. And now once again, put, extend the arms to the sides and now the fingers, hands are pointing down, so opposite direction. And now let's go the other way. So if you were going forward with your circles, let's go backwards. So let's start to bring some heat to the shoulder area. So this is quite a nice movement to do before climbing as well. So not only after, especially before. So we are activating the area, waking up the muscles. Take a breath in and out. And then exhale, relax the hands down. Now open up your arms as if you are in a cactus position. And now we will elbow in line with your shoulder, 90 degree angle in your elbow. And then we lower the hands down, keeping the elbows in line with the shoulders. And then we lift the hands back up and continue lower and check how low your hands can go. So for me, this is really hard, even though it seems that it's a very easy movement. But for me, it's really hard to go low. Of course, we never want to feel any pain, so we do the movement to a slight discomfort, but never till pain. So it's also a practice of listening to your body. So a few times down, bring it up, down, bring up. Last time lower, lift it back up. And now put the hands together. We will go into the eagle arms. 
so few options, eagle arms like that, or maybe, so the right elbow goes on top of the left elbow, and maybe the hands down on top of the shoulders, or we are also wrapping the hands, so whichever is nicer. Over here we can keep some activation by pushing one forearm into the other, and also pushing the hands one into the other, and then just exploring the sensation in the back, um, so in between your scapula. So feel and explore what's happening over there when you push the forearms one into the other. Then we can stay still, or if you'd like to explore, maybe you lift the elbows up, you lift them down, you bring it to the side, to the left, to the right. Just a slight movement or exploring the stillness. Let's take last inhalation over here. Inhale and exhale. Now let, let go of your hands and then the opposite hand. So the left elbow goes on the top and then we wrap the arms around. Pushing now the forearms one into the other or the hands into the other as well or both. You can try to lift the elbow slightly higher, so check where your elbows are. And then there is no right or wrong, but it's nice to explore the different sensation, the small change in the movement creates. While we are still st sitting tall, elongating the spine, head is relaxed. So continue to push the forearms one into the other, push more. So keeping this activation, one more breath in through the nose. And then exhale, let go, lower the hands down. Now let's meet in a tabletop position. Let's do a scapular push-ups. So there are a few options. If you are already feeling warm enough, you can do the same one while you are in a plank position or do it with me while your knees are on the ground. So over here, we will only focus on the movement of our scapula. So we will want to put the shoulder blades together and then away from each other. Your whole body is staying still. You're not bending your arms, your elbows. It's almost as if you're dropping the chest towards the ground and then you're lifting it back up. Or in another words, there is a valley, like a river flowing in between your shoulder blades. And when you push the shoulder blades away from each other, there is no valley, no river flowing in between your shoulder blades. So quite many descriptions, but I hope one of those feels or makes sense to you. And now let's continue with the scapula push-ups together away, together, away. While you do so, check your breath. Feel the inhalations. While we do so, we also try not to arch our back too much, but keeping more or less so-called neutral spine, so not arching it back too much, and really exploring, focusing on that area of the shoulder blades. A few more. Last one to touch away, and then tuck the toes underneath you, and then sit on your heels. If this, if this is too much, then you can lift the hips up. If you're sitting on your heels, also tuck the little toe under as well. Often it gets untucked when we tuck them. And over here, grab your book, your block or your brick or your little weight and take it into your hands horizontally. Then we will do the halo circles. Your elbows will stay like a diamond shape. We will only focus on the movement of the shoulder joint we will draw this halo around our head. If it gets too much on your feet, you can untuck them and then just sit on your heels. 
but if it feels okay and just a slight discomfort, you can still have the toe tucked. So let's focus on the halo. So now imagine you're drawing the circle around your head. Chest is open, spine is elongated. Check your breath. So with time and with practice, you can increase the weight. So first, perhaps starting with a block, but with time, you can also increase the load. So the shoulders, shoulder joints will be quite happy. We don't want the weight to be too heavy. So going one direction first. Breathing. And then swap the direction, go the other way. Also, don't forget the back. So when you go back, really go back as well. Few more circles. So when we do this in my retreats or in workshops, I like to put the song Halo by Beyonce. So I'm not listening to Beyonce myself, but I think for this move, the song is perfect. So you can do that with um, your, your music. Okay, and then lower the block or your object down onto the ground and shake your arms. Shake them up, shake them lower to relax them. Let's meet in a downward looking dog. So hands can be shoulder distance apart. Start to tuck your fingers, toes underneath you and then start to lift your hips up. Over here, you can walk your downward looking dog or explore the stillness. So you decide you are your own boss. If you decide to explore some movement, so maybe bending one leg, the other. Yeah, and how does it feel to your body to move today? How are you feeling? And when the answer arrives, so there is no judgment, just a curiosity. And of course, we always have a judgment, but reminding ourselves, ourselves just to be curious and allowing to feel all the feels, whatever arise. Sometimes we get frustrated when doing, a, for example, a balancing postures in yoga, and that's absolutely fine. That's part of the process. I think what's perfect is to notice that and to be aware of our frustrations and just observe as a silent observer. Now take an inhalation through the nose, open your mouth and exhale everything out, perhaps making even a sound. So inhale and exhale. Start to walk your feet to the front of the yoga mat. Let's meet in the forward fold, maybe swaying to the right, to your left, Head is very heavy. If I touch your head, your head is just dangling there, so chin going towards your chest. Now your feet together or feet hip distance apart, you decide we meet in a chair pose. So bend the knees as if you want to sit back onto the imaginary chair and then lift the arms up. Let's stay in the imaginary chair for a few breaths. So again, as always, check your breath. Check if you're breathing. Inhale, exhale. One more time. Inhale, exhale. Last one, inhale. On the exhalation, forward fold, extend the legs. Relax the head. Bend the knees. With inhalation, sweep the arms up towards the sky, lengthen. And now we bend to the left side. So feeling this nice stretch on the right side of the body, 
Maybe you can also, if that feels good, of course, take with the left hand, you take your right wrist and then we bend to the left. So as always, we don't want to force anything, but doing it with kindness, finding our sweet spot, sweet edge. Come back into the center of our side. Now exploring the sensation on the left side of the body. Maybe as before with your right hand, grabbing your left wrist to intensify the stretch. Let's take one more breath over here. Come back into the center and lower your arms by the side of the body. With inhalation, standing on the left, lift your right knee up and arms up as well. Extend the right leg and now we transition into the warrior three. So right leg pushes back behind you, warrior three. Hands of your choice, maybe hands together into the prayer position. Maybe you want to interlace your fingers behind you, shoulder blades together chest is open or if you want more intense arms in front of you so straight line if your arms are in front of you from your hands till your right foot take a breath in on the breath out lower the hands down maybe you bend the left leg as well and when standing splits start to lift your right leg up towards the sky as high as you can using your muscles over here, an option is to come onto your left tiptoes for a moment. Maybe you help yourself to stay on the fingertips as well, or maybe just on the index fingers, trying to balance while you lift your right leg up towards the sky. Also check the breath, check if you're breathing. Continue to lift your right leg higher and higher. Use your glute muscles, breathe, inhale, on the exhalation, high lunge, lower your right foot back behind you and with your inhalation, you lift the arms up towards the sky. Breath in over here, breath out. One more time, inhale, I hope you are doing well. Exhale, one last time, inhale. On the exhalation, lower the hands down. And over here, we keep the right hand on the ground, spine twist, lift the left arm up. So over here, are a few options. Maybe you open your left foot more to the left side of your yoga mat, create more space. And then we have the left arm up towards the sky. And then we lower the left hand down. And then we lift it back up. We can do this movement. We will trans transition up and down, up and down a few times. So you can have the arm, left arm straight, or you can have it bent. So we lower the left elbow, then we lift it up, spine twist, chest to the left side. Continue a few times. Last one, open up. Come back into the center, lower the left hand, lower the back knee, right knee down, and tuck the toes, and then we meet in the half splits, straighten the left leg. Few options, maybe hands down, or maybe hands on top of your hips, or in the air, whatever feels nicer for you. Hips can be square. You can continue to flex the left foot, so front foot, and at the same time, if you want to keep more activation, you can push the left heel down into the yoga mat. Breath in, breath out. One more inhale. On the exhalation, bend the left leg, plank pose, left foot back. Over here, let's meet in the plank pose with the forearms down. So lower the forearms down. Over here, maybe knees are lifting, knees down, you decide. But I really want you to explore your shoulder blade area. So push the shoulder blades away from each other. And let's stay here and breathe. Inhale. 
Inhalation. Exhalation. Lower the knees down, puppy pose. Extend the arms as if you're stretching the armpits. Maybe passive puppy pose or active, you decide. If you want to keep active, then come onto the fingertips. Head is lifting as well. Then let's come back into the plank pose with the forearms down. We will move into the dolphin pose. So dolphin pose is similar to a downward looking dog, just the forearms are on the ground. So start to bring your feet closer to your body, push the shoulder blades away from each other and almost as if you're pushing the forearms down into the ground, lifting the hips up towards the sky, staying in a dolphin pose. Over here, a few options. An option is to stay where you are and explore that. This is perfectly enough. Or if you'd like, lift the right leg up. Stay where you are, breathe. One more breath, inhale. On the exhalation, lower the right foot down, if you had it lifted, and then come onto your hands. Let's meet in the plank pose, lower the knees, lower the whole body down. And let's meet in a back bend. So little back bend, high back bend, whichever feels best for you in this moment. So we want to be mindful with our lower back. So yeah, what feels nicer for you? The little back bend using your muscles or perhaps extending your arms, lifting the chest. There is, your neck is long. There is gap between your shoulders and your ears. Check your breath, inhale and exhale, downward looking dog. Lift your right leg up towards the sky, right knee to touch your right elbow, bring it back up, right knee to touch your left elbow, bring it back up, right knee to touch your chin. And then right foot into the front of yoga mat. Super good job. Left foot to follow. Knees bent. Inhalation. Sweep your arms up towards the sky. Exhale. Arms by the side of the body. Close the eyes or soften the gaze. And let's just take a few moments to explore how the body is feeling, how you are feeling in this moment. Again, exploring with curiosity. So some movements we might really enjoy, some movements we might not enjoy, and that's absolutely fine. That's part of the process. Just being aware, aware of whatever arises. One more breath in through the nose, gentle inhalation and exhale. Now standing on your right foot, lift the arms, lift the left knee up. Stay here, extend the left leg and then warrior three, left leg goes back. Hands of your choice, you know, maybe hands together, maybe interlacing the fingers on, or if you want more intense, both arms straight in front of you, straight line of the whole body. If you want extra challenge, close your eyes and the warrior free, or in whichever position, balance position, or any other position, closing the eyes, it's, it's quite beautiful sensation to explore the inside without visual distractions. Take a breath in, breath out, one more breath in. On the exhalation, hands down, let's meet in the standing splits. Start to lift the left leg up towards the sky. So really using our glute, left glute to lift. 
breathing, take an inhalation, exhale, one more time, inhale, now over here maybe you come onto your tippy toes and maybe an option is to just use your one index finger or not to use your hands at all to balance, maybe shaking a little bit, that's great, that's part of it, stay here with me, balance, breathe, and then on the exhalation, lower the left hand back behind you. Inhale, lift your arms up for a moment in a high lunge. I hope you're feeling warm. I hope you're enjoying. One more breath in. Breath out, left hand goes down. Maybe you open the right foot to the right side. Then a few options. The right arm reaches up, which is extended. Or if you want, you bend your right arm. And then we will move for the same transition. Inhaling, lengthening. Exhale to touch. So chest looks down. And then when we extend the arm or elbow up, the chest looks to the side. So a few times like that, continue. Last one, extend, lower, lower the right hand down. And then lower the left knee down and start to straighten your right leg into the half splits. Maybe hands down, hands on your hips, arms by the side, you decide. Over here also an option to flex your right foot. And if you want more activation, you push the right heel down into the yoga mat. And you flex your right foot even more. One more breath, inhale, exhale, and bend the right foot, hands down, plank pose, the right foot goes back. Over here, staying in a plank pose. Take a look. Lower yourself onto your forearms, stay here. And then we will meet in a dolphin's pose once again. So lifting the hips up in a dolphin pose. Your neck is long, your ears are away from your shoulders. Push the ground with your forearms. An option is to lift the left leg up towards the sky. Stay here. Check your breath, check if you're breathing. Breath in, breath out, one more in. On the exhalation, lower the left foot down, lower the knees down. Once again, puppy pose, stretch the armpits, lower the forehead down. Let's meet in a downward looking dog, so hands are spreading, fingers spreading wide. Start to lift the hips up, downward looking dog. Lift the left leg up towards the sky, left knee to touch the left elbow. Lift the left leg back up, left elbow to touch your right elbow, left knee to touch your right elbow, and the left knee to touch your chin. Bring the left foot into the front, right foot follows, bend the knees with inhalation, sweep your arms up towards the sky. Exhale, arms by the side of your body. Take a breath in through the nose. 
and exhale. Now let's go from squat into a crow pose. So if you have never done crow pose, just playfully explore this position and I will also put a link somewhere up there for you to check out to my video where I deconstruct a crow pose into different postures that with time will hopefully will help you to improve your crow pose and fly your crow. So check that. But now let's meet in a squat position. So meet in the squat position and your hands, uh, fingers spreading wide, elbows in line with your shoulders. Um, start to lift the hips up, sorry, loopy, and then put the knees onto your upper arms and then maybe lift one foot up, maybe the other, or maybe both of your feet up. And let's balance. So continue to balance or maybe coming out of the pose and then coming back into the position. <laughs> and come out of a crow pose and relax your wrists. So now the palms can be facing up to relax the wrists and shake your, shake your hands. Okay, I recommend to put something soft underneath you if you haven't done so already. So I will put this one because my ground is quite cold. And over here, lay on your belly. Open your arms wider than your yoga mat. Your hands, your arms can be bent slightly. And then we will do the shoulder taps. Tapping one shoulder down, coming back up. You adjust the distance, how bent your arms are, you decide. But we want to touch the shoulder down and then lift ourselves back up. So almost you're doing like a spine twist or looking back behind you. Coming back up a few times like that. Come back up and then relax. Let's meet on the side. You can use a pillow if you have. Let's stay on our left side. We will start to make the circles with the top arm, keeping the arm straight and also uh, trying to touch always the fingertips down onto the ground. So making these big circles and also incorporating a spine twist. So I really, really enjoy these this movement so for me personally it feels so nice for the shoulders and you can do it anytime after climbing it will feel perfect i really hope so before going to bed or once you wake up you can do it in bed as well so drawing these big circles with the top arm And let's do one more on this side. And then let's change into the other direction. So let's stay on our right side, maybe a pillow underneath your head and drawing these circles with the top left arm. And also again, remember, we always try to hover above the ground or touch the ground, not hover, touch the ground or going the direction towards it. And also incorporating the spine twist So remember this movement, add it into your practice or come back into this video, to this video in the near future. A few more like that. So we're here not forcing anything, but really gentle movements. And let's do last one, really big circle. And then come back onto your, to lay on your back and then hug your knees towards your chest. 
So when you hug your knees, imagine that you're hugging a dear friend. So hugging yourself. Thank you so much for being here today and for practicing, for moving. I hope you enjoyed this practice. I hope it, it was fun. I always say that fun and challenging is a good combination. So if, if it was challenging, that's perfect. And then over here, I would recommend and really, really encourage you to stay a few moments. It's stillness and silence. So maybe laying on your back or in a seated meditation position, you could, all, you could also grab socks or a jumper, something to wrap yourself that you would be warm if it's not very warm where you are. And then just a few moments. So try not to turn this uh, video yet. But let's meet in stillness, allowing the eyes to close or gaze soft. So legs may be straight or maybe feet together, knees wide apart, if that feels good. Check your breath, check if you're breathing. And allow with every exhalation to soften your body. I like to imagine that I'm scanning my body from my feet to the top of my head. And I try to encounter any tense muscles. And then I allow them to relax with exhalations. So using my breath. So if that's... If that image is useful for you, imagine that you are scanning your body and allowing every part, every part of your body to soften and to relax. And all the tension to leave the body. Let's take one more breath together and exhale. Start to wiggle your fingers, your toes, extend your legs gently, start to make wrists with your, start to make circles with your wrists, circles with your feet. Maybe stretch your arms behind you as if you just woken up, so to stretch and lengthen the whole body. And now super slowly, first rolling to one side and in a slow motion, lifting yourself up. So a few options, if you'd like to stay more in a meditation and in silence, you can pause this video now and then continue in silence. But if you're finished today, then I would like to really, really thank you for being here with me and for practicing together. I hope you enjoyed the session. I hope it felt good for you. As always, your support means a lot. So if you'd like to press a thumbs up down below and consider subscribing, that would be amazing. And also I would be very interested to know how you are feeling and how did you find the session. As always, I super appreciate you being here. Also, I'm running two yoga retreats in Spain and Lithuania this April and May. So I recommend you to check them out. It would be super lovely to meet you in real life and to connect, connect with my YouTube community in real life as well. So as always, thank you so much for being here and until the next time, 